All right, guys, today we're going to be unboxing the new Kyosho MP10TE. Not a big fan of unboxing videos, but it's not for me. It's for the guys that want to see it. So let's get into that. And I also have a little bit of information for the future of the channel at the end of the video. So stick around. All right, let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm trying to do this with the GoPro. So let's see. It's a little shaky or something, I apologize. Shake the sleeve off. <laughs> All right, we'll sit this guy to the side real quick. And you know, nothing special, just like with basic all the kits come. Looks like we got our instructions and everything. Guys, I can't wait to get this thing together. Mud guards. You know you don't get any wheels or anything like that. This is going to be super cool. Got the shocks and everything. I almost think I enjoy building RCs just as much as I enjoy running them. That's kind of interesting that it come with the uh, the uh, brown lugs instead of the red like the other car, the newer car, the newer buggy. That's no big deal. Once again, I'm very thankful they have the white pills. It goes with my color scheme. I'll have to buy some buy white ones or something. Get rid of the green ones or whatever. <laughs> Man, I want to start building this thing now, but I have to wait. I've already ordered titanium turnbuckles, titanium screws, and I'll have to order a white wing. Got to keep the color scheme going, guys. Man, this is gonna be so dope. Beautiful chassis. Killer. But yeah, nothing too special, guys. It's just the kit, like all the other QF Show kits. But we'll get this thing built and on the track. And I'm going to compare it against my electric truggy that I converted. Step off to the side real quick. But yeah, once we get the kit all together, I'm going to compare it against the truggy that I did the electric conversion on. So, uh, like I said, I'm not the best driver, so I don't know if I'm going to tell a difference or not. But we're just going to find out and see. This is just like it was when I ran it for the YouTube video. But I reset my, you know, my lash, my gears because it was a little tight, and we put some stiffer springs on. So pretty much the same car. But yeah, should be a fun shootout. Going to use everything off this car on the new car, so they'll be identical in every way. But all right, guys, this right here might not look like much, but this is where I'm going to build my private track for me to do testing and shootouts and stuff like that with RC, which is what I want to do with the channel. You know, do like tire shootouts, engine shootouts, chassis shootouts, you know, like Kyosho, Low C, Associated, just just have fun with RC stuff. So that's gonna be the game plan. I'm doing a little bit of clearing right now. Um, had some trees and stuff, I'm cutting down, getting rid of all that stuff. Um, but out in the field will be the track. But this old ramp, whatever it was, I don't even know what it was. I'm going to lift this in the air and turn this into a driver stand so we'll basically be standing here the track will be out there you come through here this will be like pit lane and stuff i think it's gonna be awesome but yeah but as you can imagine this is going to be a you know a work in progress it's definitely gonna take a little bit of time to get all this done but i think this will be the best thing i can do for the youtube channel just so i can you know, not that I'm making excuses, but it is kind of hard to load up all my RC stuff and go to the track and actually get some run time. So this will make it a whole lot easier for me. I can just come right out here in the backyard and get some seat time and make some really cool videos because I don't have to worry about getting in people's way at the track when I'm trying to set up cameras and stuff like that because RC track is a public place. Everyone's there just trying to have fun and run their cars. 
And you know, sometimes I feel like I'm kind of getting in the way. So yeah, that's enough of me rambling guys, but this is gonna be cool. And it'll probably give me like, you know, a week or two and we'll start building the track. It's gonna start out slow, just cutting the track out in the grass. And then, you know, I'll rent some equipment, get a load of dirt dropped out here and start building some jumps, get a driver stand put up, you know, I'm pumped. Cause you know, every RC enthusiast, that's kind of like the dream, you know, you want your own track, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do something where it's a little, where it's like universal. So, you know, maybe it's like you can run the track both ways or have like some cut through so you can change it up without having to change the whole track. <laughs> but yeah but yeah guys i'm super excited about this not only the new electric car but getting the track built and i'm hoping you'll stick around and follow me in this journey and see what we can come up with but it's going to be pretty cool i want like some i want some epic big jumps like big big jumps <laughs> but yeah in my head i'm thinking like build it to where it could be like a pit bike track and an RC car track because I'm a motorcycle guy. I'm a car enthusiast if you've seen on the channel before. So a little bit of everything. I just think it's going to be a cool place to hang out and run some RC. That's what I'm hoping for. So, yeah. A lot of work to do, but we will do it. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. Appreciate you watching and I hope you'll stick around and share and all that good stuff and we'll see you on the next one.